All right, how did your team do this week? I'm sure there's going to be some moving on this poll coming up. I'm thinking about Real Rancho, who fell short tonight in Cleveland. You know, it's just uh, Lawrence had to remind me and Cleveland because he went to Real Rancho. You all heard him in the background. <laughs> he'll, he'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> all right. Two teams going in the opposite direction. Curling Central Broncos at 4-1 Santa Fe Capital Jaguars at 1-4. Jacob Flack to Christian Mackey, the big tight end, trying to get to the end zone. And despite what our cameraman does, he does get into the end zone, cameraman. What happened? 7-0 Broncos. More KC Broncos. Flack to Reese Fouts for six, and it's 14-0. KC Broncos in the third. Still in the third. My man Keyshawn going to get some love. Where you at, Keyshawn? Keyshawn Aspis gets it moving into the end zone for yet another Broncos score. Getting ugly in the third, 21-0. Then Flack, the quarterback, looking for Reese Fouts once again, making it 28 to nothing. Curtis Central goes on to win it, 35 to nothing. Broncos are now 5-1 on the season. So, what happened on the football field last night? Our Lawrence Gilligan, you heard him cracking up in the background there. He's back with all the answers. Lawrence, give us that rewind. Yeah, hey, thanks, Finn. Well, we've got three games on tap from last night. First up is the La Cueva Bears battling the Cibola Cougars. Somebody fired up. Let's pick this one up in the second quarter. Cougars driving the ball. Vincent Gallegos gets the handoff and into the end zone for the score. It's 7-0 Cougars. Fans digging it. Still in the second. Derek Martinez lets it fly and it's tipped into the hands of Bears' Thomas Vieira. This one belongs to the Cougars though, 14 nothings the final. Cibola has now rattled off three straight wins, improving to 4-2 and two on the season. Meanwhile, La Cueva drops to 2-4. and four. All right, well down south, the Mayfield Trojans hosting Gadsden and this one is all green and gold. Kavika Johnson hands it off to Abner Gomez. Gomez gets in for six. Later in this one, it's the quarterback Johnson calling his own number. Number seven has a big hole on the far side, and he goes 35 yards for the score. Trojans bounce back after a loss to Volcano Vista last week with a win. 49-14 to is the final score. And last but certainly not least, Albuquerque High hosting Highland. That's running back A1 Jimenez getting in for the score for the Hornets. Highland continuing to put up points. Quarterback Brian Medina known for his passing, but check him out getting around the corner and he gets in for the score. Dogs feel the sting as the Hornets go on to win 49 to nothing. And that's your quick look at the Thursday Night Rewind. Van, back to you. All right, man. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you in a minute. All right, all right. The season has been anything but typical for two football powerhouses in New Mexico. Artesia and Clovis have experienced the worst struggle this season. The two meeting in Artesia tonight at Bulldog Bowl. Highlights courtesy of Big Dog, and we always like when they do the dog pile at the beginning. Look at this. That's art, folks. Clovis comes running out, and Clovis says, let's do this thing. And you know when they say that, they're going to give the ball to Mr. Kamal Cass. Getting the ball and he though he will not be denied. Kamal Cash shedding tackles and getting into the end zone. Clovis taking the early lead. Then Clovis quarterback would come on after this, after the Ben Kelly's pass being tipped by Matt Lanier. Then Dakota. Yandel to Trayvon Sapilla. Clovis scoring yet again. Oh, wild catching this one because Yandel's gonna come back and this time he's gonna decide to get him some the quarterback keeper. 48 to 10, Clovis gets the victory. We are heading into the final stretch of New Mexico Football Friday. Stick and stay for one more round. The Roswell Coyotes try to protect a home turf at the Wool Bowl. And the Monal Panthers are dealing with their home field and trying to make everybody happy. Eight-man football when we come back.